Hello, uh, my name is Asit Chakraborty. I'm from uh, Huawei Future Network Division in Santa Clara, USA. And uh, here at ITU, we have a demo of uh, ICN as a mobile data distribution for uh, ICN Slice as a mobile data distribution for, uh, uh, mechanism. And uh, so what we talk about is uh, what is ICN and how ICN is relevant in uh, 5G. Uh, particularly for slices and uh, what kind of applications can benefit and uh, uh, w that's what our demo concentrates on. Uh, so ICN is uh, stands for information centric network so basically um, uh, there are many flavors of ICN, CC and Indian are one of those and they are uh, flavors which use names as a uh, primary mechanism for doing the networking instead of IP address we have uh, names of contents so uh, and we have uh, uh, entities expressing interest and fetching data uh, by the names and uh, so that's a very uh, revolutionizing con uh, concept compared to the IP address based networking and it also uses uh, it also enables the network to cache data by names this name based addressing or the name based uh, uh, access of chunks allows uh, the network to cache data and it also allows uh, many interesting uh, uh, features like consumer mobility is automatically uh, available uh, in the ICN network and uh, and and uh, there are uh, other things that we talk about like uh, multicasting or multi uh, the uh, achievement of uh, multicast is automatic also um, and it's dynamic. So those are the very uh, uh, brief features uh, that uh, we get when we have ICN implemented. Um, so um, when we implement ICN in the 5G network architecture, so many uh, benefits are uh, Available, so which is a, I mean, one is the main thing. Uh, the main thing is cellular and fixed access convergence, and we can get rid of tunnels because, uh, and also, uh, it's very technology neutral. So any kind of uh, underlying technology can be used, uh, and uh, mobility, as we will discuss. I mean, it can benefit a lot consumer mobility, and even uh, what we show here is producer mobility. So these are big benefits. And uh, the main theme of this demo is uh, ICN as a network slice. So today, I mean, deploying ICN is a big challenge and uh, because of uh, the hardware and many other restrictions. So what we try to use in 5G is a f the 5G softwareization platforms as well as the support for slicing. So what we show is a deployment of ICN in the slice, which uh, allows us to get all the benefits of ICN without a lot of interruption to the rest of the network. So you can have uh, IP and ICN slices working parallel side by side and uh, uh, get all the benefits. And uh, what we have implemented, here we uh, show a little bit of uh, how the slices are uh, realized. So at the top, uh, at the bottom you have the programmable substrate and then on top of that we build up the uh, connectivity slice and uh, ICN slice and on top of that we have the services and the orchestration layers. Uh, so we use our VSAR platform for that. Uh, so those are basically white boxes which uh, allows the software virtualizations. So ICN itself is uh, or ICN or the forwarding itself is virtualized and then on top of that we have the services and we have containerized uh, all of these components and they are fully softwareized and available uh, uh, available in these platforms. And uh, uh, you can have multiple slices and you can, uh, we also support multiple access technologies like uh, LTE, Wi-Fi and Ethernet. And we show uh, applications of AV conferencing. And here uh, what we try to show is, I mean, once we softwareize this uh, ICN and the service platforms, uh, in ICN we have this interesting concepts called uh, pending interest table and uh, forwarding base and the uh, cache. So when we softwareize, all these things can be per service. I mean, basically we are uh, having a service specific instance of ICN, which uh, allows us to isolate services very well. And uh, that's one major benefit of uh, the slicing that we are trying to show here.
And briefly, these are our demo features, like realizing ICN as a slice, then uh, how ICN helps in uh, access agnostic mobility and uh, fixed mobile convergence, and uh, what kind of applications like as a, uh, we can support on this. And this is an overall demo setup we have. So we have Docker for container virtualization, and uh, uh, we have STN controller Onos we use for uh, um, provisioning some of the ICN setups and the service uh, related setups. And on the bottom we have the our uh, white boxes which implement uh, the ICN edge routers, which implement uh, ICN forwarding as well as the service logic in the network. So in this demo of uh, ICN uh, slices, uh, we employ a s software edition platform which uh, uses uh, uh, Onos controller for provisioning ICN, uh, ICN uh, features like the ICN FIB and also service specific uh, setups which uh, uh, we employ uh, in this network. So here you can see this is the Onos view of the three uh, routers that we have in this setup. And uh, then uh, this is our orchestrator view. So what we have provisioned here, you can see the, there are the three routers and uh, there are, this is the network slice in those routers. So there is a forwarder instance running on each of the routers and there is a service access point and a hypervisor running on each of these routers. Uh, so service access point basically helps the user entities connect to the network and hypervisors help the uh, the software components to talk to the Onos controller. And uh, so this is the network services. We also uh, show the application slice view. So the application here is the audio video conferencing and uh, which uses certain facilities that are provided in the network. So those facilities are again provided with these containers on the network. So we have these uh, concepts of proxies and controllers which are uh, which has been provisioned already and they are on the network uh, as containers. So this is the basic uh, view uh, of this, uh, of our setup. Now this is the uh, actual setup. As you can see there are three uh, uh, small, th uh, three of the small hosts are providing the um, ICN edge routers. I mean again ICN as well as the services and we use one uh, for controlling uh, which hosts all the controllers like the Onos and uh, Docker, etc. And we have multiple EVs. Uh, so these EVs are connecting to the network to avail of the services being provisioned. So here uh, we show the basic uh, working of the application. And uh, so this is an audio video uh, conferencing. So each of these uh, participants can be a producer and consumer of data. Right now, uh, this application instance is producing data and these two other application instance is consumer data. As you can see, it's uh, live data. So uh, what we are trying to show here is more of the aggregation or the multicasting capabilities of ICN in this application, not so much of caching. Uh, so whatever data he's producing, the other user entities are expressing interest to fetch that data and uh, that is going through the ICN instances of our network setup and uh, the services instance is helping in synchronizing the application uh, on all the user entities. So this is uh, uh, how the basic uh, application works and this is using right now the Wi-Fi interface. Uh, so what we will next show is uh, how it can use uh, LTE or Ethernet also. So this uh, particular instance, EV instance, will uh, move from a Wi-Fi connection to an LTE connection. So we have the LTE, uh, OAI based LTE setup here. So the EVs connect to uh, e -Node B and uh, th that e -Node B in turn connects to the uh, network setup that we talked about. And uh, so when we do the handover, So here uh, you can see the uh, traffic move to the LTE interface uh, and uh, the other UEs are, did not face a very long uh, interruption. 
So as you see, when the other EV started transmission, transmission by pressing the start button, it be, uh, this shows the full featured uh, audio video nature of the application. So each one is a, a producer as well as consumer. And uh, we support, we can support many more clients like this. And uh, again, this shows the multicasting capability of ICN where the traffic in the backbone, I mean traffic in the network is minimized because of the dynamic uh, automatic multicast nature of name-based uh, access. So here we have the, uh, the vSERs, we call the virtual service edge routers, so implemented in uh, white boxes and which host the softwareized uh, containers which implement our ICN forwarder as well as the ICN based services in the, in the network. And each UV produces and consumes uh, a camera feed. I mean, uh, the feed produced by him is consumed by the other UVs in the, uh, which have joined the same uh, audio video conference room.